Oh, oh, here we go, baby. That doesn't look good. <laughs> Are you telling me you shouldn't be able to install Windows 98 on a GTX 970? Is that true? Chat, is this real? So, uh, hey, it's it's been a while. Some time has passed. Um, quite a bit of time. And um, I'm back with this video. Since I last streamed, I apparently obtained unk status because I somehow didn't realize that my microphone was just muted for the first 15 minutes of the stream until people in chat were like, what the hell is he doing? And then I was like, Are you fucking kidding me? I'm a fucking moron. Now with this stream, I set myself a goal and I think going in, I'd set myself a goal that was pretty stupid. I wanted to install Windows 98 on this 2008 custom gaming PC. Uh, this PC I bought from Facebook Marketplace and I paid £10 for it. And it's a pretty good machine. It has a Core 2 Quad and a GTX 970 in it, which I know sounds ridiculous. But what you're currently watching is just me trying to film it to explain to the chat what I've got in front of me and what I plan on doing. And it just, it, it was just chaos. Focus. This fucking stream is a disaster. Just <laughs> Nothing is working today. Oh my god, I fucking hate this computer. <laughs> Here's the PC. The stream was like two months ago, so there's like shit piled on top of it now. Whatever, who cares? Have a look at my pizza. Wow, look at that. Little own brand pizza. I bet it's fucking fantastic. I cannot wait to tuck in. But yeah, we're going to turn it on. It takes a couple of tries. Oh, give it a sec. There it is. There it goes. So, I don't really know where to start. So, like... <laughs> I guess we're just gonna <laughs> go to the internet and just fucking Google it. 98 on uh, Core 2 Quad. Uh, no! This is not going well. <laughs> Through repeated lapses in judgment, I somehow ended up starting the stream without the computer connected to the internet. And at this point, I thought, it couldn't be much worse. A chat member has suggested we try ChatGPT, and I thought, you know what? That'll make things just that little bit more interesting for us. We need to burn an ISO using software like Image Burn. Yeah, let's 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 go ahead and get Image Burn. Let's get that installed on here, you know. Yes, I know MSN Messenger is still running. That's fine. Right. Uh, here it is. Windows 98 Second Edition. We need to install Image Burn. Does the latest version of Image Burn work? Oh my God. Does it actually? How old is this software? Jesus. No, I would not like that. Thank you. Go, go away. No! Windows Windows Explorer has encountered a problem and needs to close. What do you mean, Windows Explorer? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, what now? Okay, let's go to old version. Surely we can get, like, an old bit of software. Uh, Windows... CD XP Burner Pro, would that work? We are going to burn a CD. Default. Oh, here we go. I remember this software, actually. Burn an ISO image. Okay, so we actually need a blank disk for this. I've got some blank disks. There you go. There's one. It's gonna, gonna bang this bad boy in. I can't even get the fucking front of it open. There we go. Oh, oh, God, Nickelback's in there. <laughs> Get out of there, Nickelback. <laughs> Can't burn that. So what is this? Is this a... Uh... Oh, it's straight up just an ISO. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need. Okay, there's Windows detected that blank disk. Uh, I'm going to assume that it has. Uh, burn ISO. That's the drive. So, desktop. There it is. What does finalized disk mean? Uh, burn method. Oh, well, I mean, it, uh, just go, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that works. Don't ask about this, please. This is, uh, they don't work with midis, what? 
<laughs> they just frozen. Why are they just frozen? <laughs> I'm excited. Here we go. We have burned the ISO to the disc. Why are you taking so... What is this? Verifying disc. Verifying what? Oh, it's done. It's done. We're in the right place. So, start a configuration. So, it's eight IDE, right? So this, it's, this is, it's already set like this, so that's fine. So it's not using AHCI for Windows. So if I go to, I'll have to reset and then press F8, I think. Okay. So I suppose we will try this. I do not want to boot from the USB because that's a Windows 11 installer, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Oh, oh! Hell yeah, boys! Boot from the CD-ROM. <laughs> hell, hell yeah! <laughs> it's eight gigabytes of RAM in this machine. It's not gonna work. <laughs> hell yeah! Ah, I see. So the disc works. That's the important part. Let's flick the switch on. Sorry guys, I know there's not much to see right now. I should have really put the camera back on for this. Oh yeah, I forgot. This drive isn't blank. <laughs> it has Windows 7 on it. I completely forgot. I, I thought this drive was blank. No, it's got Windows 7 on it. Okay. Well... Okay, so I waste like a lot of time here just messing around with FDisk and formatting drives and whatnot. What I'm essentially trying to do is copy the Win98 folder from the CD to the hard drive, as unfortunately this CD simply refuses to boot on this machine, and it's simply because it's just too new, and that's really the only reason. So I'm going to save you guys the time. Okay. It's, it's done, I'm guessing. Hey, there we go. So if I open another... Oh. There we go. So I just need the... The Win98 folder, right, Phil? That was it? I only need the Win98 folder. Just in the, just in the root directory. Take me to the disk. Boot from CD-ROM. I'm guessing setup? Is that what it's called? Ah, uh -huh, yeah, sure. Oh, here we go, baby! That doesn't look good. <laughs> Are you telling me you shouldn't be able to install Windows 98 on a GTX 970? Is that true? Chat, is this real? I'm amazed. The USB works, by the way. USB is working. <laughs> the graphics are not good. Just let it rip, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, the graphics are so broken. Nah, g give me it all, man. Give me it all. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> oh, no. I mean... I mean, does it... Does it really matter? I will just do typical, because I can't see... This menu is... It's, it's slowly getting worse. Computer name. Core 2 Quad. This machine should not be running... Start copying files. Go, 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 go. Who knows? Setup is now ready to restart your computer. Remove all disks and floppy drives and restart and press OK. Not that it matters because it was booting from the hard drive anyway, but... <laughs> this isn't going to work, by the way, and I know it's not going to work, at least not initially, because it needs uh, less RAM. There's too much RAM in this computer. <clears throat> this might be a problem that's not too hard to solve, though. I, might, I, don't, I won't need to patch it or anything. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is what I expected. Now, upon reading this message, one might be led to believe that it's saying I don't have enough memory. Ahaha, <laughs> but actually, I have way too much, which is why this is coming up. Don't ask me why. Weird science memory shit, bits and bytes and RAM and stuff. I don't know any more than that. Computer. The next step of the process is to enter the bin of parts to locate some RAM. And you're probably thinking, well, why don't I just take some RAM sticks out? Aha, you see, the problem is 
I have too much RAM. I need less of it. I need to in my computer. Sound Blaster, Order G2. This is a... I don't know what this is. A GT710, worst graphics card ever made. Another sound card. It's, a, it's, another, it's another sound card. It's a hard drive. <laughs> That's a DDR4. <laughs> it's too small to read. 512 megabyte. I think we got a winner, boys. <clears throat> I shall now introduce the award for worst camera angle fucking ever, anything ever. And it's this one, by famous PC specialist and expert YouTuber, Zero Ducks Given. It posted. I can't see anything on the screen yet, though. Okay, uh, what, what are we dealing with? What are we dealing with? Yo, there we go. 512 megabyte. Right. Let's see. Yeah, this is the moment of truth. Okay, right, we're gonna try normal first. <gasps> Yo, let's go! <laughs> All I had to do was take four RAM sticks out of the computer. I think the graphics are gonna stay broken. Um, oh no, the product key. Um, I'm not even gonna know if I've typed it correctly, am I? <laughs> okay, that worked. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, it was censored. You guys couldn't see it, right? Because the graphics were so messed up. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, hey, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Sure, that's definitely the time. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, hell yeah. We're moving now, boys. We're moving now. Contrary to my prior statement about moving, uh, the computer proceeded to sit here for a very, very, very long time. So against the advice of people in my chat, I decided to restart the computer. Windows protection error. You need to restart your computer. Try safe mode temporarily. That okay. Safe mode got us here. Yep. Okay. We're here. Right. We're in Windows 98. Okay. So that is. Oh wow. That is that is really broken, isn't it? That's amazing. 16 colors. That makes sense though, because we're in safe mode. We have no drivers. Um. Okay, let's first order business. Let's okay. <laughs> Intel Pentium three processor. Hmm. I d <laughs> I didn't. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought I'd see here. But the USB is the USB works. Beautiful, like Christmas. There we go. So yeah, this is obviously caused by the video. So we have a standard PCI graphics adapter. Right, this is going to be the GTX 970 probably. And yeah, that's the only time I ever actually got it to boot and be usable. Um, I did record an additional hour of this stream just trying to get the computer to start and outside of safe mode, it was just doing nothing. So uh, yeah. Don't get me wrong, this is an entirely self-inflicted L. So the following day, I did actually go back and record myself getting the machine actually working, although it was just a no commentary recording of me getting the thing up and running. It took me literally, like, all evening. Like, I spent, like, all day on this stupid thing. Eventually, I did get it working, as you can see from the screenshots. I unfortunately have somehow lost the recording. I, I don't know what I've done with it, but I have a couple of screenshots I sent to some friends. You can see here, I've got the GPU working. It was a Radeon X300. It was that unidentified one that I mentioned earlier. I don't know what this is. And in keeping with basically the rest of this stupid video, I've somehow screwed it all up right at the end, right at the peak, right at the climax. I come in and I just, I just pull you away, you know, it's done. But here it is, here's the footage of the machine running. I start up Duke Nukem 3D, I let it sit for like five seconds, and I sent this to a couple of friends, uh, because Discord's upload limit is like one kilobyte. So I had to make the video really short. So yeah, anyway, I guess that's it. See ya.